Hey, we're at the Matthews booth this year with Jason Throw. He's an engineer from Matthews, and he's helped design this new bow, the Halon X. Jason, can you tell us something about the new bow? Sure, this is a 2016 Halon X. It's built off the same profile and, uh, as our Halon series. It's a 35 inch axle axle, more target oriented bow. Is this the Halon X specifically a target bow? The Halon X is, is probably geared more towards target, just with the longer axle to axle. Um, you know, it's got a forgiving seven inch brace height on it, so um, it's 3D target style bow. Yeah, but I think that for the hunters out there, it's available in a camo pattern, I assume Lost? Yeah, Lost XD, the new XD pattern. Yeah, uh, you guys are going to be hunters, you're going to like this because it's a long axle axle bow with 35 inches, it's 7 inches brace height, which is going to be a forgiving bow, and it's not a slow bow by any means, it's how many feet per second? 330 feet per second. 330 feet per second, which is plenty, plenty fast enough to kill anything that's walking in North America. Tell me something about the cam system. This is a unique cam, Jason was explaining it to me. Uh, in lay terms, tell the people about the con half concentric, half lobe cam system, twin cam, perimeter weight. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of moving parts. Jason, can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is the cross centric cam, which um, this is the mini version. So we call it mini cross centric. So half of the cam is based off the no cam design. So it's completely concentric for the uh, half of it, and then it goes into a more cammed portion of it, which gains all the benefits of the no cam with the, the nice draw cycle, the concentric um, string payout, and then it goes into the cams where it gets your extra speed out of that. Um, so it's been a really great cam system so far. Um, like I said, it, it has the benefits of the no cam with uh, the benefits of a little power, extra power stroke in there to get our speed up to 330. Yeah, we've the perimeter way to cam, if you guys know it, I'm sure you guys do. This was, Matt McPherson invented this, gosh, 15 years ago probably? It's been a while. But the idea behind that is to add weight to the perimeter, hence perimeter way to cam, which gives you inertia, momentum. You know, don't you guys don't argue with me over momentum versus, versus inertia. <laughs> But it, it essentially, in theory, speeds up the cam and gives you more, more uh, arrow speed. Um, Jason was explaining that on some bows, it works better than on others, and this was a good application for him. So Matt decided to put it on this new bow. Is there anything else you want to tell us about the bow? Tell us about the riser. The uh... yeah. So it's obviously it's not the the geo grid that we've had in the past. Um, it's a new design, but it's got the dual bridged here. So this is a really stout riser. Um, just a really stable platform. You know, to go along with the risers, we have the big wide cups and the big beefy axles too. So it's just a really robust system. Um, you know, resist uh, torsional um, forces, you know, so it's, it's just a industrial platform. Yeah, something, I, what's it, what does it weigh? Um, this bow is just under five pounds, 4.94. Something that, now some of you guys may think that's a heavy bow, but the thing is, is that it's wide, which like Jason said, it makes it a wide platform, and with a little bit extra weight, it's a good aiming bow. Some manufacturers have gone way overboard in trying to get their bows really super, super light, and what you end up with is a bow that's in a tree stand is affected by the wind, which you get a lot of wind when you're bow hunting, and you go to aim, and the wind can move the bow around and take you off point. So your shot's not going to be as good as you want it to be, and that's when it's critical. So a, a little bit heavier bow, the, the advantage of that is, is that it's a better aiming bow. And this is a big bow. Big, not physically big, but it's a, it's a wide, long bow, which is going to aim really well for you guys, and it's going to shoot very accurately. I like a bigger bow. It's something I personally like. I can't shoot a little itty-bitty bow. So this would be something up my alley. I mean, it's something that I'd be interested in. Jason, what does this retail for? Uh, $12.99 for the camo and the black version, and $13.99 on the, what we call the pro version, which has the engraved cups, and then the anodized riser instead of the powder painted. Well, it's a nice package, and we appreciate you showing it to us. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you.